Hey everyone, welcome back. And last episode we went on quite the uh, quest of retrieving a red eagle's sword. And now I have a bunch of stuff I need to sell. So we're going to go to a merchant, preferably, mm, let's see. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by the toe. If y'all is let him be, Riverwood Creator, we're gonna go. <sighs> I just got finished recording episode two of Stardew Valley. And, uh, yeah, if you haven't seen that, I would recommend checking it out. I will have a link in the description to the playlist. So. It's a very different game for me. I don't usually play games like Stardew Valley, but it's fun. I like it. You and me. Some may call this me, I call them treasures. Alright, I want to sell you and you. And you. And you. And that's all I can afford to sell you. All right, I want to see if I can sell you armor. Whatever you need, buy you some. Take a look. Album is really cool because he like cares about you. I see no harm. The grindstone will improve your weapon. If you've got the raw materials, you can use the forge to make something new. Alvor is kind of like the guy that gives you the tutorial um, for how to use the forging system in Skyrim. And if you are following my Minecraft Let's Play series, you would know that we are currently building our own forge house. So, which Minecraft Season 2 will be coming to an end, and Season 3 will be starting up. So, I'm pretty excited for uh, the fun things that Season 3 will uh, unveil and unfold. That might be more of an adventure type kind of thing, where we might actually try going and finding stuff. So. And Subnautica, we just got all the Cyclops. So, every series seems to be going good, except for this one. Because I'm not actually trying to do stuff in this one. Which has become apparent, and this is one of the least viewed series of my channel. Which is partially my fault, because I mostly just use this to screw around, I don't actually do anything. And because everyone's played Skyrim, there's really nothing new to see besides me being a complete idiot. And catfishing those wolves. Come on. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come, on. Come here. Come here. Who's your good boy? Who's your good boy? Come on. Come here. All right. Let's go talk to Maven Blackbriar. God, I hate Maven Blackbriar so much. Oh, God. She is, I think, one of the most evil NPCs in Skyrim. Like, I don't mean like evil as in like, oh, I'm going to end the world. Look at me. We're going to go and harvest all the souls of the dragons and then use it to enslave an entire island. I don't mean that kind of evil. I mean purposeful poverty and making sure that you own the place through money, greed, and sort of enforcing a lifestyle on those around you. I don't know. She's oppressive. Oppressors must die. Oh, Command and Conquer 3, Tiberium Wars, that's where that comes from. 
The oppressors must die. Down with GDI. No stop. See, Ignan, Ig Ignan Blackbriar, she's actually cool. She she wants to be like an alchemist. How Maven is... People of Riften, oh my god. The return of the dragons is not mere coincidence. This is one of the signs. The signs that Lady Papyrus is displeased with your constant inebriation. Looking for work? Put down your flagons filled with your vile liquid and embrace the teachings of the handmaiden of time. No, no, Malamoth. I don't have any business with you, so get out of my space. I feel really bad for you because I know what happened. These people must be made aware of the chaos they've sown. We've all heard of the dragons. No need to Where is Blackbriar? Very well, Talos. So you're the one. Hmm. You don't you look so impressive. <laughs> Let us all sing in peace. Let's see, personality, and also I've already done this, so I know what the best answer is, but, you know, she's very judgmental. She's looking for someone who can get the job done, so let's be cocky and arrogant. Is that confidence I hear? Or is it arrogance? Strange how often they're confused. You have to understand, it's been a long time since Brynjolf sent me anyone I can rely on. I don't have faith in any You're about to have faith in me, lady. I care about is cause and effect. Did the job get done and was it done correctly? There's no gray area. I hope not. This is an important job. I have a competitor called Hunning Grimuli that I want to put out of business. I also want to know how they managed to get the place up and running so quickly. Head to the Bannered Mare in White Run and look for Malus Machius. He'll fill you in on all the details. Of course, nothing gets done without my approval in this city. I have the Jarl's ear and the guards in my pocket. Anyone makes trouble for me and I pay a visit to the Thieves Guild. Make me angry and I contact the Dark Brotherhood. You do well to remember that the next time you make such a stupid observation. See, evil. One more time, in case I wasn't clear. You butcher this job and you will be sorry. Don't threaten me because I can kill you with one strike of my blade. And I don't care if I get $1,000 worth of gold and bounty. You know, funny you mentioned the Dark Brotherhood. Oh, you name Carrie's Rift, and that was a compliment. Take it. Oh, shoot. No, I didn't mention this last video. Oh, no. Um, I got a new uh, Tangle supporter. Um... Shoot, let me get my phone. I gotta look at the email. I'm like pretty sure it was Nathan. Like the name. So, hold on. Let me double check because I don't want to make like mispronounced, you know. But I woke up this morning for work and um, before I left to uh, to actually head into my cl uh, not class, into, into work, um, I had an email from the tingles bot saying i have a new supporter and that is nathan so thank you nathan for supporting me on tingles all right back to the game so because you know i, I want to i want to show the other uh, respect to the people who support the channel Oh, you precious old woman. You're a Daedra. Challenge, you've come to the right place. If it's worked in Nietzsche, 
How about chopping up some wood for your fire? Daedra. Hey, don't talk to me like that. Really? <gasps> ah, shoot. <sighs> See, look, sanguine. Ah. Sanguine? Sam Guivin? Come on, it's obvious. Let's try that again and not steal anything. Maven said you're expecting me. I'm gonna keep this short because we've got a lot to do. Haunting Brew's owner, Sabjorn, is about to hold a tasting for White Run's captain of the guard, and we're going to poison the mead. You have the poison? No, no, that's the beauty of the whole plan. We're going to get Sabjorn to give it to us. The meadery has quite a pest problem, and the whole city knows about it. Pest poisons and mead don't mix well. You know what I mean? <sighs> How do I fit in? You're going to happen by and lend poor old Sabjorn a helping hand. He's going to give you the poison to use on the pest, but you're also going to dump it into the brewing vat. Clever. Oh my god. All we need is someone like you to get in there and get it done. Now get going before Sabjorn grows a brain and hires someone else to do the dirty work. Remember. <clears throat> Depends. Are you thirsty? Hungry? Both. <laughs> Let's see. Help me on my way. Now, please, no more questions. You're the red guard, aren't you? I've got my eye on you. Here we go. Now, as you can see, what are you gawking at? Can't you see I have problems here? You're not going to try to hide it, dude? Really? Really? What are you gawking at? <sighs> at least clean them up, dude. Jeez. What are you gawking at? Can't you... Are you kidding? I'm supposed to be holding... If we seize the meadery in this state, I may be able to help. Oh, really? And I don't suppose you just. I hope you're not expecting to get paid until the job's done. You better, or I'll yell, Skiver! Okay, okay. No need to make rash decisions. Here's half. My only demand is that these vermin are permanently eliminated. I bought some poison. I was going to have my lazy. If you plant this in the vermin's nest, it should stop them from ever coming back. All right, Malice. Don't come back until every one of those things has disappeared, apparently. All right. 
Why is it telling me to go over here? Oh, I gotta poison the vat. Okay. We'll get to that eventually. Okay, these are skeevers. Skeevers are in groups. So, the best action is, of course, to use a single shot weapon to individually deal with them one by one. Good job. What was that? Uh, steel, steel, steel. All it is is steel. Okay, this is clearly not working. Huh. Um, I completely underestimated the skeepers and wasn't even trying. Great. That's what I get, I guess. <sighs> They're all venom fang. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. I really don't anymore. I think I'm just too tired to actually, like, mentally prepare myself for all this. Because I wasn't even watching my health last time. So. Ugh. Where's my food? Oh, I ate all my food. I can't believe I died to skeevers. Like, are you kidding me? I'm usually better than that. I guess that's what I get for not paying attention and overestimating my opponent. Okay, so apparently, um, oh shoot, that was the last thing I wanted to see, and they're still chasing, great, you saw nothing, and you will continue to see nothing. Fantastic. Okay. Mm. <sighs> oh my gosh, these bounty boxes are terrible.
Okay, these traps are set by a person who's deep down in here. If I were to take a gander, I'd guess that it was uh, Malik's, his assistant that disappeared. No, that is not Malice. That is some other guy. What is going on? Okay. I need to just walk into a wall and turn right around back into him. Okay. Watch this. Wait. How do I get out of here? There we go. And like that. I'm gone. I'm hiding from you. Okay. So, considering the fact that I'm completely inept at this right now... Oh, shoot. That should have been a sneak attack damage right there. You have got to be kidding me. Come on. Dude, really? Just walk out here. Come on. Come on, you invertebrate, and fight back. Howdy. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me, darling. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. I said, look at me. That was a warning shot. Look at me. Look at me. I was using iron arrows, ugh. <sighs> ten years of ridicule, ten years of imprisonment, ten years of exile, all the children threw wobs and women spat upon me as other men both dragged me into the Wyvern's prison. They branded me a danger to their full existence. They used words like madmen and insane. Could a madman escape the prisons undetected? Could a lunatic establish a laboratory rather than psychosis? Could a psychopathic create a moral mighty armor and a common skeever? My days as an apprentice alchemist and literal Bastards can handle braggarts, not bastards. Braggarts can handle my can compete with my abilities. When they fell ashore, I constantly excel. Did they appreciate my genius? Did they relish my contributions? No. The instructors beat me and they said they said I was irresponsible. And the archmaid cast me into the streets like a common beggar. As my enemy grows complacent and weak, they have forgotten Hamlet and his utter brilliance. I built my army. I used every bit of knowledge at my disposal to forge their demise. Thanks to Savorn's unwilling assistance, my legion grows strong. The irony is the same ingredients used to make his vile drink could be used to feed my offspring isn't lost upon me. Oh, they will pay. Their ignorance of the impending annihilation amuses me. I will bury white run and watch when it will burn. And when they experience the fury I've unleashed upon them, when my uh, progeny are gnawing in the flesh and their bones, they will come begging and groveling at my feet. But there will be no mercy, no quarter, no len leniency. And I will laugh, and I will dance, and I will rejoice over their mangled Corpses. The time for, recom for recom recompense has arrived. Ten years of pain, ten years of misery, ten years of death. What a psychopath.
<sighs> Why am I lagging? My, is my computer getting hot? Yes, yes it is. I'm gonna flip the ice pack over. There we go. Yeah, to uh, to make sure my computer doesn't overheat, because I have to have the fans um, turned to silent. In order to assure that it doesn't overheat, I put an ice pack over it, but it looks like that the ice pack started doing the opposite and it absorbed the heat and it was becoming a hot pack. So that is causing some unfortunate effects which might end up making this episode short-lived. Oh well, at least the rat bastard's gone. Literally. All right, Maven Blackbriar, you filthy human being. Um. Oh. I swear I'm not an idiot. I swear. Just have to wait until after the captain's finish. I suppose you can have the rounds in mind. Worm. <sighs> oh, there's malice. Oh, I'm an idiot. Isn't there Blackbriar Reserve? Oh, come now. This is me, not some wine to be sipped and savored. Oh, but I believe that it is something that is poisoned. Yes, yes, yes. Right, what, what's in this? I, I don't know. What's wrong? You assured me this place was clean. I'll see. See to it that you remain in irons for the rest of your days. Please, I don't understand. Silence, idiot. I should have known better to trust this place after it's been riddled with filth. I beg you, please. This is not what it seems. Hold on, wait a minute. I was wrong. Last episode, I mentioned the uh, the Argonian maid, but it's in this place, right there. Oh boy, here we go. Uh, act <laughs> Act Seven, Scene Two, continued. <laughs> this is like a uh, uh, bad furry asterisk. <laughs> Lips her tail. My goodness, that's quite. <laughs> <laughs> Quite a loaf, but however shall it fit in my oven? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this loaf isn't <laughs> ready for baking my <laughs> sweet. It has to <laughs> Lips her tail. If only we could bury that along, or hurry that along, how would I accomplish such a task? Oh, my foolish little Argonian maid, we must use your hands. <laughs> <laughs> you wish me to knead the loaf here? Of course. But what if the mistress catches, mistress catches me? Your loaf was meant to satisfy her appetite. 
Don't fret, my delicate flower. It'll satisfy the mistress' cravings later. Very well, but I'm afraid my oven isn't hot enough. It could take hours. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Oh my god. And of course it's next to the bedside. Ugh. Wow, that is... That is something else. I'm gonna have to go in and edit that audio so that way you don't hear me laughing that hard. I don't think that could have So Maven wants to hunt down Seth. You're welcome to take a look here. This should help. I thought it would be better to leave some of the Legion. Besides, you've done Maven a favor getting rid of him. And saved me from wasting coin hiring someone else to do it later. Jerk. God. Okay. <sighs> that is so messed up. Those books. I didn't mean to laugh that hard at the, uh, at the, uh, can't believe that the book that was, oh my god. How are we gonna get your, your loaf to rise? Use your hands, my sweet. But, but your loaf was made to please your mistress. Am I gonna find more copies of it? So that, uh, that reading of the book there was quite a treat, was it not? <laughs> Ugh, gosh. This episode is a train wreck. Not only did I die from skeevers, but I also basically just read furry stuff. Those creepy asterisks. So... I guess it wasn't technically furry. It's just that, you know, that's like what you associate with is the, oh, well, what's this? Nuzzle. So. <laughs> I mean, hey, what you, what you do in your DMs is totally your own thing, all right? Not judging, but uh, when it gets posted to Reddit, it's pretty entertaining to read. Let me just, <laughs> let me just say that. And it was at this moment when I realized that the uh, Skyrim Let's Play series should be permanently cancelled and never again seen by anyone else. I had to result to using my old headphones so I left my other ones at work because so I have those really weird ones I had. Where they're like domes, like, they're, they're, no, they're just gross, they're old, they're gross, the leather on them is all sweaty and greasy, it's just, ugh. So, it also doesn't help that my hair keeps getting caught up in my ears. Oh, shut up, Sapphire. I trust you have good news, it doesn't tell me much. The only thing that could identify Sabion's partner is this odd little symbol. Well, whoever this mysterious marking represents, they'll regret starting a war with me. You should bring this information. There's also the matter of your payment. I believe you'll find this more than adequate. Really? A dwarven sword? Really? 
Well, I guess it is magic damage depleting. 40 to be exact. That's pretty good, actually. Fair enough. You get to live. Alright, well... So, I pretty much just read Smut this episode. That's pretty great. <sighs> well, in the meantime, let's get a screenshot for this episode. Oh, shush, mule. Okay, we gotta get a screenshot. Okay. All right, time to ruin your uh, your reputation, poor guard. You're uh, getting your picture taken with me, the worst person to get your picture taken with. Ugh. Oh, they are, don't worry. I want to get rid of that. How do I get rid of that? Hmm. Let's see. I want to... Is there a screenshot mode for the game? That'd be kind of cool if there was. Um, hold on. Give me, give me one second. One very quick second here. Gonna pull out the old cellular device and Google a uh, Skyrim screenshot mode. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh oh. Okay, so, uh, that may have been a little bit of a mistake there, but whatever. Oh, shush. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Cool. So you just got public humiliation. And so did I, but who cares? It was funny. Anyways, um, yeah, that, uh, that just happened, so, well, I hope all of you enjoyed this video as much of a train wreck as it was, and, um, at this point, this episode really wasn't super ASMR, but I'll edit it so that way it works. Anyways, thank you all for watching, if you made it this far, indeed. If you did, you got a little treat and got to listen to me read, uh, Essentially Smut, so, ain't that great. Um... If you never want to hear me read anything again, let me know, because uh, <laughs> there's probably a good chance that after that, none of you want to hear my voice read any literature ever. Well, anyways, once again, thank you for watching, and have a fantastic night.